Hello and welcome to this presentation about Eon Professional, which is an extension of our popular authoring tool Eon Studio. My name is Mats Johansson, I'm President and CEO for Eon Reality. Eon Professional adds a number of advanced capabilities like native CAD support, visual effects, physics, RPC support. We're going to start and look at the Eon CAD component where you can import a large number of native CAD formats and also optimize them for real-time use. CAD formats include CATIA, MicroStation, ProEngineer, UniGraphics, SolidWorks, Autodesk, and also a popular modeling format such as Maya, 3D Studio Max, Lightwave, etc. These are all supported in their native format, and all in all, there's over 100 different 3D formats supported by EonCAD. The first part that we will look at here is a basic compressor model, typical mechanical assembly. And what we're going to do is to open up the native CAD file from mechanical desktop. And then we're going to do a typical cleanup and optimization procedure, which is a first step of any young professional development. So here we see the basic CAD model, and as we can see, we have some uh, unwanted parts or some extra surfaces. I'll select those and quickly delete them. Uh, you can't create any new surfaces or geometry in AeonCAD, but you can clean up and change. There's a number of tools for inverting faces, uh, healing a CAD model. Uh, you can also select internal components. This is a very useful tool when you have something like an engine or a compressor where you have a lot of parts inside that you may not want to use in your visualization. This way we can easily select them, group them or delete them and then move on in our optimization procedure. Here we will just delete them and then we'll go to the next uh, part which is selecting small components. Often if you have a large CAD assembly such as an aircraft, aircraft engine, you will have macro components like fuselage and then you will have nuts and bolts. Very rarely do you want to view uh, all of these at one time and this tool helps you select, group or delete uh, whichever component you're not interested in based on relative size. Finally, we'll look at a typical polygon reduction. Uh, Polygon reduction is very important for performance and real-time speed and uh, also for file size. Whether you publish your CAD model uh, on the internet or in a fully immersive environment like an iCube, this is an important step. We'll see here that we do a visual check to make sure we don't over-optimize the model and at the end of the day we'll have about 80% reduction in polygon count uh, and slightly more in file size given the, the previous steps that we did. So this is a quick uh, optimization. You can also do this in, uh, in a batch mode if needed. Finally, we will go to the Eon Studio uh, authoring tool and look at the resulting model. Uh, there is a number of settings that you can change as you do this process such as keyframe support, lights, materials, etc. As we can see, we maintain the hierarchy of the CAD model. Uh, it's a very basic model in this case, and uh, we'll see how we can add some advanced features and quickly make it more interesting. As we mentioned in the beginning, a professional consists of CAD, physics, these are the physics nodes, RPC support, here you can add humans, moving humans, humans for scale, and other objects based on images. And finally, visual effects, which is a, uh, a module to add realism to your scene or your CAD objects. You can do this in a uh, uh, using predefined materials, such as this HDR or high dynamic range shader we're adding here, selecting a chrome material. But I can also program my own shaders, and we'll see some examples of this later. This is done with a popular CG scripting language. Now I have selected the Chrome material, and I simply uh, click and 
point to the CAD model. There are no UV uh, coordinates in this model, basic CAD model, but we can very quickly create a, a more natural look and feel. Now let's take a look at a few applications where Eon Professional Visual Effects have been used. Here we see a reflection and as well as a shader and bump map material for seats. These are a few examples of the different visual effects shader modules that are available in Eon Professional. Here's an example of a custom program shader using the CG scripting. This one uses a vertex uh, with moving water surface as well as a pixel shader. In this case uh, we also see a refraction on the reflection onto the water surface. So there's a lot of different uh, visuals going on here. And finally if we go below the water surface we'll see that we have the, the refraction of the water itself as a shader. Over to RPC uh, here we see an example from Bechtel where they wanted to visualize an airport facility and add a large number of humans. This would be very difficult with a polygonal human, but with the uh, RPC it's very easy to do. Dynamics or physics, here we see a very simple interaction with a number of objects. They have mass uh, and their dynamic properties as well as collision detection. Here's another uh, application, uh, an engine assembly looking at a few components, each part can interact with each other, I can put things together, take them apart. Physics can be a real time saver when you want to program advanced um, assembly sequences for instance. And each object behaves like it would in a normal world, so when I drop something on the table it will fall down there. Third use of physics, this is from Stryker Medical, and here it's used to define links for lights and monitors. It's very important that you have the joints uh, represented correctly in the degrees of freedom that you need. Thank you for listening to this CM Professional presentation.